Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I'm going to be fighting Skeletron Prime, and I also want to do some building because the area up here looks kind of empty and boring and actually kind of weird, and I also want to get some weapon upgrades which are pretty powerful if I did my research correctly, so I hope you enjoy. Okay everyone, I think we'll start off this video right with the Skeletron Prime fight. I have all of my buffs, let's buff up, um, let's turn it to nighttime, and yeah. Let's summon the boss. Skeletron Prime in Calamity is an insane boss. It's pretty difficult, probably the hardest mech boss. Of course, only in Calamity, I would say. Yeah, maybe the twins are the hardest in Vanilla. But Skeletron Prime is definitely up there as the hardest mech boss. So yeah, I'm debating on whether to use my Darkness Potion, which fills up my Rage Meter like early. We'll wait until he's a little more weak. I think he also regenerates his limbs, maybe once he goes into his second stage. I don't completely remember. I don't have very much experience with this fight. Okay, so almost all of its limbs are destroyed. Maybe we should focus on taking out both of those. And we can focus on the head if he doesn't regenerate the limbs. I don't remember. Also, the health bar on the bottom of the screen does include the limbs. So there's a little misleading. I think he does take more damage after we destroy all the limbs, potentially. I might be making that up, but... I was trying to find my hotkey for rage. I still couldn't find it. I have to check what it is. Oh yeah, he does this crazy spin attack, which is kind of hard to avoid sometimes. Oh, we did okay dodging the lasers. Not the best, but we did okay. Alright, it's only at about 10,000 health. It's, this was honestly a really easy boss fight. We haven't even gotten close to dying. This is the final mech boss out of the three. And then we can move on to Plant Terra and Calamitous, I believe. Again, I'm not an expert on the Calamity bosses, just because this is my first Calamity playthrough. But I'm pretty sure Calamitous is after the mech bosses. Yes, let's go. The jungle grows restless. Alright, let's check out the loot. Alright, so let's check out our loot bag. Souls of Fright, mechanical battery piece for the minecart. That's all. Pretty simple, and a little bit of hollow bars. But now we could do something very special. We can upgrade the Pwn Hammer to the Ponage Hammer. I don't actually know what it's at. Probably the Mithril Anvil. Yes, 532 rogue damage. Let's craft that. It's got the hefty reforge, so it's 673 on a, sh on a stealth attack. So let's actually test this out in the dummy room. I don't even know what happened. I think it's hitting- is it hitting the ground? Okay, yeah, it was hitting the ground. Makes kind of an annoying sound but it does a ton of damage on hit. I'm pretty sure the projectile that goes up, it's like another hammer, I'm pretty sure that homes. That's a little bit more damage. And I can also make the pickaxe axe, which will allow me to mine brimstone, so I can get the brimstone blades, which are another huge weapon upgrade. One other thing I could do now that I have the last mech boss soul is actually make some orange blood root. Now this is basically life fruit, but better. You can upgrade your health past 500. I have 600 because I have a life force potion, that's what it's called, activated. So I had a mithril anvil with 5 life fruit, 1 blood orange, 10 blood orbs, and 5 of each type of mech boss soul. I can craft myself 
an orange blood root. And this I can consume to increase my max life by 25. As you can see, my hearts are now orange, which look super cool. So, according to the boss checklist, I'm actually supposed to defeat Skeldrum Prime after the Brimstone Elemental, but I just defeated Skeldrum Prime and the Brimstone Elemental has not yet been defeated, so I think we should get on that as soon as possible. Now, I'm hoping I won't have to build too much of an arena for this guy, just because it's kind of an earlier boss, I already defeated the one that's supposed to be more difficult than this, so maybe I can get away with not building an arena, but we'll have to see. How much does this actually need? Five souls a night and five essence of chaos. That's super cheap, so I might as well try it out in arena just to save some time if it does actually work. Okay, I'm in the brimstone biome. I think it's time to give the brimstone elemental a shot. Now, I'm not expecting to win this, but I do just want to get familiar with the boss. And you know, maybe we can get really lucky and actually win this fight, but I kind of doubt it. So, uh, yeah, let's just get started. How much health? 65,000 approximately. That's not too, too much. Alright. Let's see what this guy is made of. So far, not too hard. But again, it's only the first form. The first form is never that difficult. Alright. Actually, kind of, this thing kind of hurts. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to build an arena with, for this guy for sure. Probably do some massive terraforming as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. I really didn't think I was going to win. But um, I think with an arena, it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay everyone, as you just saw, I built an arena. It's nothing special, just a small little arena that I hope will help. So let's actually try to fight the Brimstone Elemental once again. Let's summon him in. And we'll see if this arena actually helps. Now, I will say, it's arena, it's an arena, it's lasers are kind of difficult to dodge, at least for me. I'm not very good at dodging lasers in general. I'm not doing that much better, if I'm being honest. It's definitely much easier to dodge these fireballs and stuff with the arena, but it's not a huge difference. I'm actually doing some good damage with my opponent jammer. I don't know what that little thing right there is. It's a brimling. I don't know what that is. I guess that's just something that the boss summons in. Ow. Dude, this guy hurts. I might have to get some actual potions. Maybe make the arena better. I really don't know if there's much more I can do to the arena. Maybe if I remove the middle layer, then it'll give me more room to dodge. And it'll actually make larger dodges and less, like, smaller movements. That might help. Okay, so I removed the middle layer of the arena, and I also got a bunch of buffs. So let's see if we could do it this time. This will probably be my final attempt, at least for today, before I take a break. So let's hope I win. Let's buff. I remember my rage hotkey. And yeah, let's summon in the brimstone. 
Alright, I do kind of want to keep my distance a little bit. I think that'll actually help a lot with the Brimstone Elemental. Its little fireball things are very fast and hard to dodge. Uh, not really those slow ones, but the fast ones. Yeah, like right there. Those are difficult to dodge. Alright, I'm not taking too many hits. I'm pretty pretty happy with how this is going so far. Oh. Hmm. I meant to buff, not use my rage. That was bad. I got nothing out of that rage. I think I got one hit in. Well, that's certainly not making the fight any better for us. Maybe I should use stealth attacks. Ow. Dude, this guy hurts. Yeah, I don't think I'm winning this one, but uh, maybe just a little bit of practice is what I need. I do think I'm definitely better at dodging the Brimstone Elemental right now than I was before, so that's always good. Almost half HP. That's a lot better than I was doing before. Got a little bit of a lag spike there. Nothing that'll really affect anything though. Modded Calamity just does that. Or modded Terraria rather. Oh, laser, laser, laser. Oof, okay. So this Brimstone Elemental is... It's pretty difficult in my opinion. It, it hits hard. It hits very hard. I think with a little more practice, I could definitely defeat this guy. I don't think I really need an upgrade in gear quite yet. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to take a break from that and maybe work on something else. So I want to take a break from boss fights for a little while and actually do a building time lapse. So let's get right into that.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed the building time lapse. As you can see, I did finish the outer shell of my crystal palace. I think it looks pretty cool, especially at night. Now, it sure could use some interior decorating, but I think I'll do that later. I also wanted to leave the brimstone elemental until the next video, so I guess you can look forward to that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Calamity video. Bye, everyone.